half ounce heavy minnow. As you can see, this bait's a little bit war torn. Um, this is a good all around jig to have rigged up. We're on our way in from offshore tuna fishing south of Martha's Vineyard up here on Cape Cod. And so I always keep this hook, this um, heavy minnow rigged. I have it rigged at the VMC inline single hook with an upgraded split ring. So this three and a half ounce jig can be cast to tuna, can be cast to stripers, bass, bluefish. We're stopped at a, a spot locally known as the Benito Bar, which often holds uh, well, Benito, uh, bluefish and striped bass this time of year. We, uh, on our way in from a uh, challenging day offshore, this spot is saving, uh, saving the day. And ironically, uh, you know, as coming in, there was bass and bluefish, all kinds of topwater life. But, uh, you know, we, uh, you know, there's plenty of bluefish, but we're marking big marks down in the fish finder. So the beauty of this jig, it's designed to be a topwater casting jig with designed for serious distance. As you can see, I have a uh, heavy duty tuna spinning outfit. But with this jig rigged up, I can just set this bait right down to the bottom. Oh, yeah, I'm getting tapped on the way go. down. And uh, we're just going to drop under the uh, under these top water bluefish. But again, back to this jig. It's a very versatile jig. You can see it holds up. We've caught a number of bluefish on it. Um, I've actually caught a tuna on this one too. And um, as you can see, I'm catching sea bass on it right now. I'm just going to drop this jig down and to the bottom. I actually I can find bottom and maybe up to 120 feet of water with this jig if there's not a lot of current. And they hit it on the fall oftentimes. Here we go. So nice sea bass. Even though I've upgraded to the VMC inline 3 0 size, actually, this is a 4 0 size hook, you know, designed for small tuna. It has no problem penetrating this big sea bass or any bottom fish or certainly top water bluefish. Now, as you can see, this one, it's about five inches in my hand here. This is a three and a half ounce per version. Um, it's in the olive color, it's an excellent imitator of the sand eel, but this size is just a classic bait fish size. Um, good imitator of small squid. And a lot of folks like the pink color for that. They have a green color, which is an excellent imitator of tinker mackerel. Silver, uh, excellent imitator of silver size. Basically, simply put, this jig mimic, mimics just about any bait fish out there that you'd be casting or jigging, or even trolling for that matter, on spinning gear or conventional gear. So in short, this jig can be cast for offshore tuna, upgraded obviously with a heavier duty hook. It can be jigged for bottom fish. It can also be cast for topwater fish such as bonito, striped bass, and bluefish. I'm not casting the tuna right now. I just want to take a minute to show how rugged this floor is with bluefish. There we go. Bluefish, I remember from when I was a kid. It's been a while since we saw a big influx of large bluefish. It's easily 10 pounds. Hammer that jig. So, as you can see, we've caught five or maybe six bluefish on this jig with heavy duty gear. The bait is bit and it is chewed up a little bit. But, you know, I gotta say, this paint job, we've caught probably half a dozen sea bass, five or six bluefish, and this jig has caught a tuna in its lifespan. And uh, yeah, it is a little dinged up, but these are good sized bluefish. 
And uh, well, needless to say, I'm very proud of this jig.